What's up everybody and welcome back to just some regular old retro bro Re whoa retro bowl uh where we are on the last game of our regular season this guy will be back after this game for the playoffs where we will get the first round by even if we lose we still get it but let's go ahead and see what Houston has for us we do start with the football here see if that has anything to do with the outcome of the game of course if you've been keeping up with the series you would know that the past two seasons we have made the playoffs but have had the exact same record both times with 15 and 2 at the moment we are 15 and 1 and we lost the last game what I'm getting at here is we're cursed pretty much to have a 15 and 2 record and I'm hoping this year is the year to break it because that record always comes back to haunt us when it comes to winning in the playoffs every single time we have had that record we have lost either the first or second game into the playoffs for our team so I'm looking to change that hopefully we can win this one break the curse and win us a retro bowl if not then we're at least winning another game which is another step forward I do believe this is the year for the retro bowl though I don't know something about this team it just it feels right and if you've watched you would probably think so too you would probably expect this team to go undefeated be the second team in NFL history to ever win every single game and win the uh, the Super Bowl or in our case the Retro Bowl also Retro Bowl just had an update and there's some weird button down there at the bottom I don't know what that is I'm curious I want to click it but I don't I don't want to click it while doing a video I'll experiment with that later I don't want to click it and it actually accidentally mess up my video as tight end wide open singler the man okay I don't know what just went on there but sure I'll take it uh, Vince is gonna be here on the comeback nice came back to it fast enough 18 yard pickup into the first quarter And let's see, Vince maybe here again? No, maybe. Ah, oh, that was a bad throw. He still caught it though. Okay. It was a little too far ahead of him. Or right on target. Because it was a curl, we kind of want it behind him a bit. Or I guess technically it's in front of them, but you get what I mean. You want to throw a shorter pass, not a longer one. That's the whole point of a comeback route. Okay, Vince open and breaking a tackle for the first down. Okay. I'm liking this so far. As Hearns should be the one who gets the touchdown here. He was just left wide open. I don't know where that DB was going. Just he wanted to go home, so he ran out the stadium. I don't know. Maybe he bet on us winning. He wants us to break the curse. I mean, I'm fine with it. If they think I can break the curse, I'm, I'm all for it. And if they're going to help me, I ain't stopping them. 
In fact, I might, I might just go shake the hand of the person that paid them. Not really. If that happened IRL, I'd probably be mad because I want some true competition. I don't want a team that was set up so that I would win. And what are the chances? Bounced off the head of my running back straight to their defense. And they get ball at half, I'm pretty sure. What are the chances, man? It looked like it was gonna it was gonna go straight into his hands, split the defense. But no. Just got absolutely outplayed. I'm looking for some big play here. I want to get into field goal range. I don't know if this is field goal range. But we can't get another playoff, so I might just have to try it. I'm going to go for it. Does it have the leg? It has the accuracy. No leg. Okay. Well, didn't think it was going to happen, but had to try it. We need defense to get a stop. That's the only way we win this. That interception was devastating. I hurt. It. I wouldn't change it. I mean, it looked open. And I threw to who I thought would be the best person to throw to. I mean, I had to throw it or it was getting or I was getting sacked. And in that moment, he looked the most open. And I don't think I would change it. I mean, he's he looked open. It's just the only thing I probably would have changed there is I probably would have made sure I clicked down to throw a bullet pass. Just made sure it got in there quicker. But other than that, I mean, it looked like the right play. Singler's wide open again. I mean, if we play fast enough, maybe we can get their defense a little tired. Not their defense, their offense, I meant. And then hopefully they'll end up making a few mistakes there on offense which would then put us back into the game which is what we need I mean the curse is real I'm telling you and I'm pretty sure it's always late in the season where it actually comes into effect and starts hurting my team it's every single time I mean, there's video evidence proof now. I mean, it's all over YouTube. But it's the end of the season. Every single time our team falls apart, we can't catch footballs, we fumble, throw twice as many interceptions as we did the entirety of the season. And we go from looking like the best team in NFL history to just your average good team. So that was barely I probably should have threw that a little farther but I can't really change that I mean it still got there and got to its target and I didn't throw another interception so looking at the bright side things worked out just wasn't pretty looking We're going to need a stop on defense. I mean, that's obvious in this situation, I would think. As Hearns is going to catch that, okay. I'd have been fine with it going to the ground, but the catch doesn't hurt. And Hearns is going to be the target again. I mean, we're going to have little to no time to score. 
but uh, if defense can get a quick stop, interception, fumble, I'll try the onside. Okay, defense did get a stop. We get the ball at the 50. I don't know why they didn't try and run a play. They went straight to a field goal. They didn't even attempt to get farther down the field. I don't understand that at all. But I, I'm not their head coach. <laughs> Maybe he saw something I didn't. Well, I didn't see anything because... Evidently, when you're a head coach, you're blind to defense. I'm going to let the play run. I probably shouldn't run here, actually. <laughs> Should have thought that through a bit before. I'm going to dive, call timeout. The dive was just because I don't want to risk a fumble. I mean, we made it this far down the field. I'm not risking anything. Wide open, tight end. I'm going for a two-point. So I'm not risking anything, and then go straight for a two-point conversion. Hearns, it's all on you. And he caught it. I mean, <laughs> we broke the curse. First season above five, uh, 15 and 2, not 5 and 2. This could be the season. I'll take the credits there. All right. I mean, best team in the NFL. Made a mistake early. It was a mistake I feel was more on the running back for not catching it. Gibson's got good hands. He just popped it into the air not something you normally see from a player like him but in the end defense came in clutch or their offense just didn't do what you would think they would do as we didn't do really anything on the ground actually everything was through the air Rodgers will be back and We'll face whoever in the divisional round. But I'll do it for this one. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you know when and what I upload. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.